Hello. In today's video, we're going to jump right into writing another script. As you can see from the comments I've written in my text editor, today we're going to explore one of the most important concepts in any programming language, variables. Variables allow us to assign a name to a value so that we can refer to that value by name later in the script. Let's look at a simple assignment statement to see what I mean. I'm going to create a variable named greeting and assign it the value hello. To do that, I will write the name I would like to use followed by an equals sign and the value I would like it to hold. One very important thing to note here if you're used to other programming languages is that you cannot have a space between the variable name, the equal sign, and the value it holds. Also, though the quotes around the word hello are not strictly necessary in the bash shell with a simple assignment like this, there are times when they will be necessary, so it's a good idea to include them. Now that I've created that variable, I'd like to refer to it later in my script. I'm going to print my greeting to the screen with an echo statement. I'll use double quotes around the text I am printing to the screen and put a dollar sign in front of my variable name. The dollar sign is what tells Bash that it, the word greeting is a variable name, not just a normal word. So let's save this and try it out. So it printed out the statement, hello Jeremy. It interpreted that dollar sign greeting in that quoted statement as a variable and printed its value, not the word dollar sign greeting. Before we go on to the next way to assign a value to a variable, I'd like to point something out about the echo statement. I use double quotes around my output in the echo statement. If I were to use single quotes around the output, it will not expand the value of any variables in the string. Let me demonstrate. So I save that and run it. Now it prints out dollar sign greeting comma Jeremy. This is an important distinction. Make sure that if you want to see the value of a variable that you use the double quotes around the output string. I'm going to undo that last change and now I'll show you a second way we can get a value into a variable using the read built in. The read command will pause the execution of your script and allow the user to type something in which will be stored in a variable. The simplest way to use it is the word read followed by a space and a variable name. Let's get the user's name as a variable, name name. We'll add this value to our output statement where I had previously written my name. So the program will now issue a personalized greeting. I'm going to save this and run it. The program has paused its execution and is waiting for me to type something. However, it's not at all clear what I should type. Since I just programmed it, I know it expects my name, but you should always make your program print out a prompt when you're going to get input from the user. I'm going to type in my name and see what it does, and it works as I would have expected, but then I'm going to go back in and add a prompt to my program. I can add the prompt in two ways. The first is to just use an echo statement immediately before the read command. The other is to use the dash p parameter followed by a prompt string. This option should generally be limited to short prompts. I'm going to use it here to ask for the user's name. Note that it has to be before the word name. So now I'm going to save this again and when I run it, my program works the same as before but interacting with it is much nicer because it asks me what is my name. When I want to run a command, or the third way that, I can, that we can assign a value to a variable is to st store the result of another command. For instance, I could store the output of the date command in a variable so that I could easily reference today's date throughout my script. When I want to run a command and store the result, I put the command inside parentheses and precede it by a dollar sign, like this. Today equals dollar sign, open parentheses, date, close parentheses. Note that I can use this in an assignment statement like this one or directly in a double quoted string anywhere inside my program. Now I can use the variable name today elsewhere in my program. A 
Let's run this again and see what happens. So okay, now I've got three ways I can assign a value to a variable. I can use the equal sign to give it a value, use the read command to get input from the user, or use the dollar sign parentheses construct to store the output from a command. This will open up a lot of doors to what we can do with shell scripts. Have fun.